Okay, hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to talk about the Pogue Magnify Mini Soundbar and specifically what happens when the Pogue meets up with Dolby Digital Surround Sound because one of the main advertised features of the soundbar is that it can process Dolby Digital Sound. So I was just interested and I've been wondering exactly what is happening when Poke meets Dolby Digital. Uh, because as you can see, it's a very compact unit. You wouldn't really expect much more than a mono uh, output from something like this. It looks like a Bluetooth speaker. Um, and it's sitting in front of my 32-inch television. So you can get an idea of its true size. Um, yeah, so it, you <laughs> wouldn't really expect much at all from that. But actually, it does a pretty good job of uh, creating a pretty wide soundstage out of a single unit. Um, so inside this box, there's one, two, there's six different drivers. Uh, we've got two mid-range drivers, mid-range drivers sitting in the center here, and then two tweeters on the left and the right, and then uh, another two mid-range drivers on each side. Um, but they're not really side-firing drivers as far as I can tell. They're more to do with that. Uh, they're, they're involved with Polk's patented stereo dimensional array technology which it uses to create that pretty wide sound stage. Um, yeah, so what I've got here is a 5.1 surround Dolby Digital, a 5.1 channel Dolby Digital surround sound test file, uh, which I'll just play so that you can get an idea of what's going on. Uh, you can just hear what's going on, and then I'll just quickly discuss what I think is actually happening to create or to emulate that sound stage. So here's the check file. Okay, so, yeah, um, so I'll just discuss what I think is going on there. Uh, so the center channel is obviously coming out of the two mid-range drivers in the center here. Um, and maybe the tweeters are involved a little bit, but I think most of the sound is just for the center channel is just coming out of those two mid-range drivers in the center. With the front left and the front right, I think what's happening is that both the side firing mid-range drivers and the center mid-range drivers are involved and Poker is applying its SDA technology uh, to to those drivers respectively uh, and and putting the speakers in phase in such a way that it creates a pretty wide sound stage. Um, you do have some limited stereo separation with the front left and front right, but it's not that much really. It's more that you get a sense of space and distance 
same with the rear channels there's definitely no uh, stereo separation happening for the rear channels but once again you get a sense of space and the tone and the timbre of those rear channels is is quite distinct from the front channels uh, so once again you get a sense of distance but with a different timbre uh, I think what's happening there is we've got the once again the side firing drivers uh, but this time the tweeters are more involved than the center mid-range drivers to create that somewhat higher timbre um, and of course the subwoofer is doing its own thing as a separate channel so yeah that's what I think is going on more or less with the magnifier mini in terms of the Dolby sound processing <clears throat> So I just <clears throat> thought I would upload that and talk about that because I haven't found anything on YouTube. I haven't found anyone on YouTube discussing that. Um, and there uh, isn't anything really on the internet except more than a very cursory description of what the Magnify Mini is doing with Dolby Digital Sound, which is a bit of a surprise to me because it is such a big advertised feature. Um, it's one of it's supposed to be one of the main draw cards of the unit. Anyway, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. All the best. Bye bye.